नमस्कार मेरा नाम है कुणाल मेहरा और इस कार्यक्रम का विषय है अब क्या करूं व्हाट नेक्स्ट नाउ द लास्ट फ्यू वीक्स आई हैव हैड द चांस टू स्पीक टू थाउजेंड्स ऑफ यू एक्सचेंज ईमेल्स विद यू ऑन क्वेश्चंस डाउट्स दैट यू हैव सो दिस इज शिल्पी फ्रॉम न्यू दिल्ली राइटिंग इन सेइंग आई हैव स्कोर्ड रैंक एक्स वाई जेड आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रिवील द रैंक and uh, i did not get through any of my top 10 preferences on the clat list but i got through one of the national law schools one of the new national law schools what do i do now well chilpi i'll start by you know telling a small story an anecdote from my life when i was a kid i wanted a pair of really fancy nike shoes and what i got was a pair of well not nike shoes some other shoes I was really unhappy about it. And I went to my mother and said, "What is this? I want a Nike." And she said, "You know, son, there are people in this world who don't even have shoes. So, you have a law school. You should be happy. You're a national law school. You should be happy." Well, I know it's not in your eyes the best law schools in the in law school in the country. But that doesn't matter. What the ranking is today may be fundamentally different 5 years from now. remember the best law schools in the country today are also possibly the oldest law schools so if you give this new law school time and you have time 5 years is a long enough time this very law school probably will be able to establish its brand as well as any of the rank 6 7 law school today in the country and where you would be 5 years from now would be very different from where you think you would be so give yourself time and give the law school that chance also remember it's not which law school you went to but what you make of your experience in that law school that counts more i know enough people who went to a top tier national law school the law schools that you all go gaga over and did not do much about their life are probably not even lawyers right and i know enough people who went to what was at that time a bottom rung national law school but are doing extremely well for themselves at this moment after they graduated from law school so remember which law school you go went to the the brand on your cv the name will only take you that far after which it's who you are and what you do that defines you remember in the end hard work always trumps natural talent hard work always trumps intelligence you could be the most intelligent guy in the room but if you are not working hard very soon that is going to change think of virat kohli and rohit sharma When Rohit Sharma came around, he was touted as the next next Sachin Tendulkar, the most talented batsman after Sachin Tendulkar. And Virat Kohli, on the other hand, wasn't really the greatest talent to come out of the under-19 network. But in the end, it's Virat Kohli who's really changed his game, upped his game, adapted it to different formats, and is ruling the world, ruling world cricket right now. So my suggestion to you: be a Virat, don't be a Rohit. And if you are a Rohit, work hard. and work on your short selection in fact i'm going to take another question because i think it's very similar to the previous question uh saloni from bhubaneswar writes that she did not qualify for any of the national law schools through clat but qualified for a few top rank private law schools such as symbiosis law school amity indraprastha university etc well my response to you saloni is that is very similar to what i said to people who've made it to a not the top national law school but one of the new national law schools so whatever i said there is applicable to you as well work hard and don't worry too much about the brand on your cv give it your best shot make most of the opportunity that you've got it's a good place to be in it's now completely on to you and how you use this opportunity but good luck i know you still have questions possibly tons of questions but don't worry this is not the last of me that you'll see in fact not just me there's an entire team with me who will be supporting you through not just the next 6 weeks but your entire journey through law school and all of us here at milo.net are looking forward to you taking that journey but in the meantime if you still have questions and you have specific questions that you want me to answer for you do write in to me on my email which is kunal@milo.net i'm still available on the blog the clad blog on milo.net and we will be with you and bringing you a lot of stuff a lot, lot of content for the next 6 weeks which i'm sure will put you in a great place when you start your law school journey in july till then 
you enjoy yourself don't freak out and good luck